is very lovely the way it looks and it's white building that you can see at the back is where the governor of Nairobi stays. Can you imagine Her Excellency Grasha Marshall planted at tree number four, which was at Ongacharongai police station where Kibaki was there. I can't can even remember the scarf that I was wearing that day. Was... Did you know that KCC can hold up to 5,000 people? Oh well, today I'm here to show you Kenya's iconic building and it's a landmark that we hold dearly as Kenyans because of its beauty and the conferences that build, brings international people to our country. So this is where region-wide meetings are held. I'm talking East Africa, Africa. We recently had the climate summit where all the African leaders were invited to, to discuss climate change. Yeah. So today I'll be showing you around KCC and its new look. KCC stands for Kenyatta International Con Convention Center. My name is Fides and welcome to the informative. That white building that you can see at the back is where the governor of Nairobi stays. And you know Nairobi is the capital city of Kenya. So yeah, that is his office, office of the governor of Nairobi. One of the things that make KCC beautiful is the fountain. It's the fountain. It doesn't have one. There is that that I'm going to, sh to show you. And KCC is one of those buildings that is not just beautiful on the, on the outside, but it's also beautiful on the inside. That is nice. Really, really lovely. Keep the way clear, clear at all times. This is nice. This is nice. So these are the poles. There are times where all these white poles have flags. And it's usually such a beauty when you're looking at the flag. I want to commend the person who, who chose the flowers. These flowers, the colors, they are so lovely. They're so lovely. If you're watching this and you're the one who chose the flowers for this place, you did such a wonderful job. It's very pretty. Even this one, the small ones. Faith, can you show them the small ones? These small ones, they look very nice. Can you imagine? This is where I saw my first aquarium. I have fond memories of KCC. Yeah. The fountains are very lovely. So we're going to go to the other side. These ones are lovely, they are very lovely. And then we have another one there at the at the entrance. Yeah, there are three. They are very beautiful. Please come to Kenya. When you come to Kenya, come and see this for yourself.
We have the the various halls. We have that. There is that. It's called the Lenana Hall, and it's very beautiful on the inside. These are the buildings of Nairobi of Nairobi City at the back. lovely i love the way it looks and it's this is what we have on the kenyan flag this is what we have on the kenyan flag and this is nice <laughs> guys what we have up there first of all i love this fountain i think it's the most beautiful of all the fountains that we have here and up there we have the late mzee jamo kenyatta our first president and it's amazing because he's the one who has been put for the most beautiful waterfall that we have in this entire place oh my god you guys isn't kenya beautiful oh my god this is so nice. This is very, very lovely. You can stay at this place the whole day. Please come to Kenya and watch this. This is so nice, so nice, so nice. And he looks so good. He looks real. He looks real up there. Our first president. That is our first president. Mze Jomo Kenyatta. Can you hear the fountain? That is the fountain, guys. It's alive. It's alive. This is the designated smoking area for when, for when smokers come to this venue. And I love the way they have incorporated these pretend animals on this, uh, on this place where people smoke. Yeah, and I was wondering why they have been painted, painted pink. 
but apparently you know kcc is painted in pink and that's why that's why these animals have this pink color and the white color on them yeah. kcc has always been beautiful and it will always be beautiful yeah i'm going to show you the names of the people who planted the trees that we have here so we have this we have the silver oak it's number 10 on this plant here it was planted by wangari madai come and show them we have a tree here that was planted by Wangari Mathai in 2007 and she was a Nobel laureate as you can see here. Yeah. And then we have this that was planted by the late Mutula Kilonzo. This is so sad that he's not here. She was planted by the late Mutula Kilonzo in 2008. And let me see. Hey, you guys, can you imagine Her Excellency Grasha Marshall? planted a tree number four in 2006 here on this garden where the smokers come to to plant and then we have one here that was planted by lucy kibaki number two it's, it's so good that number one was planted by his excellency the late president mike kibaki you know you guys there's a time me when you used to stay in ongatarongai there's a time his Excellency, the late President Moi Kibaki, had a conference in Ongatarongai and they attended. And I remember we were given bread and soda, and then there was cake. And there was cake that people were catching. I was sharing with my cousin that I attended the president's con Was it a conference? It was not a conference. You see, there was a president who would come and talk to people in a certain area, and then you'd be given food. I used to go, and I went alone. I don't even know how I got home. And my mom is so strict. I don't understand. And it was at Ongatarongai police station. Mwaki Baki was there. I can't, I can't even remember the skirt that I was wearing that day. I was wearing a skirt, but I can't remember the top. I remember it's bread. I took soda. Hey, you guys, me have lived the life. I can see it's written Global Forest, launched in 1983 by Dr. M. Tobler, Executive Director of UNEP. You, you know, you guys, when I was in campus i always dreamt of working with the un i don't know because i love giving back i've always wanted to work for an organization that gives back to the society and i think these are little beans i don't know what are those those green things are for these are loans loans oh as you can see we are from the designated smoking area that is called the global forest i think it's called i think this forest is called a global forest because we have global leaders who have planted trees in this area